Praise the Lord. Welcome to Charles Gang's Bible Talk. Today, our title is Jesus. Let us read Matthew 4, 23 to 24. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went through all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. Our text says, Jesus went throughout Galilee. Why did the Lord go all over Galilee? That's the same reason why the Lord came to this earth. Matthew 1.21 says, And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Mary became pregnant, the angel told Joseph, Name the child Jesus, which means to save his people from their sins. You know, Jesus is pronounced in the Old Testament in English, Joshua. So Jesus means Joshua, actually that's the same meaning. Also, it is pronounced what is called Hosea as well. So in Hebrew, Yeshua, later it is pronounced Yesu, uh, which means his salvation. So Yesu R or Yesu uh, is much uh, better pronunciation than in English Jesus. But anyway, we call him Jesus. Why did the Lord who came to save us travel all over Galilee? He went around all Galilee to save us. Amen. The purpose of the Lord's coming to this earth is to save us. He went around to restore the image and likeness of God in us. If so, now I have to live a life where my soul lives and saves souls. What did the Lord teach as He went around? Matthew 4, 17 says, From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord taught us what our sin is, how we can be forgiven. Jesus taught me how to get to heaven. And perhaps the most important thing to enter the heaven is repentance. Because repentance is the only way I can reach the heaven. Repentance is the Lord's first words and teaching. So you and I should know the importance of repentance. What did the Lord preach? It is said that He preached the gospel of heaven. Is the gospel of heaven good for me and living well in this world? It's not like that. The beginning of the gospel of heaven is repentance. And the completion of the gospel is the heaven. If I can go to heaven, I need to know that the gospel I receive has no meaning. The gospel of heaven, preached by the Lord, is the gospel of repentance. Because unless we repent, we as sinners cannot restore our relationship with the Holy God. And the Lord will not forgive us. And I think the Lord showed the evidence to testify of the gospel of heaven. What did the Lord heal? The text says, healed every sickness and every disease every sickness and every disease. So, uh, I checked in Hebrew, every sickness is bosos, which means in Greek, a disease. But it has the meaning of a disease of mind, especially caused by madness, passion, vice. And disease is malachia, which means softness, infirmity, especially bodily weakness and sickness. So versus is the disease of mind and malachia is the disease of the body. So these two words are synonyms in English, right? But in Hebrew, slight, uh, in Greek, there is slight differences. So what is every sickness and what is all disease? The Bible wrote the same word over and over again. Why? Wouldn't it means that every sickness refers to spiritual illness and every disease my physical illness. My disease, which the Lord wanted to heal the most, is a disease called my sin. The Lord came to heal my sins in this world. 
So the Lord died on the cross. Wouldn't it be right to see that the Lord's healing of the flesh is an example of healing of our spirit? As we meditate on the Bible, we should know that I am the one who have all sickness and all disease. All sick people who are afflicted with the various diseases and torments, and those who are demon possessed, epileptics and paralytics. Let's think about the meanings. Who are afflicted with the various diseases and torments? Could I be the one who is afflicted? Often time we are thinking, the one has physical sickness are the people mentioned in the Bible. But if not, it's not. You and I, we are afflicted. Being all sick people means that I am sinful. Is my body healthy? And so I live without knowing that I have various diseases of the spirit? Does it mean only those who are sick because of physical illness? Being afflicted is not being able to enjoy peace because of being deceived by sin and being deceived by temptation at this moment. Right? Who are demon possessed? Being a demon possessed means being drawn to sin regardless of my intentions. Regardless of my intention, if I run into sin, I am demon possessed. Who is epileptics? An epileptic is a person whose function of the brain is broken. So, he binds bubbles and falls anywhere. If you cannot control your, your anger, your emotion with the words of God, you will fall into the fire and fall into the water. If you don't know the intention of God's words, you are an epileptic. Now think about who is paralytic. Paralytics are those whose hands and feet do not move according to the Lord's will. The hands and feet are moving as I do not intend. Isn't it a paralyzed person who can follow the words of God into my life? If I do not come to Jesus with my disease, I cannot be healed. When you come to the Lord, you can be healed. A person who has a physical sickness can be healed by a doctor. But a spiritual disease cannot be healed even when he goes to see a doctor. Spiritual disease must be brought to the Lord. There is no other way for our spiritual sickness to be healed. I should be the sick to be healed by the Lord. I pray that I will not be a fool who can't receive the gospel of heaven because I don't have sickness of the flesh and thus I don't need to come before the Lord. Let's summarize our words today and apply in our life. First, Jesus taught that repentance is the only way to the heaven. We must believe this and live a life of repentance every day. Second, I should know that the gospel of heaven preached by Jesus is the gospel of repentance. I should realize that I am a sinner and thus I need Jesus who is my savior. Third, I must I must become a person who knows that the people who are healed by Jesus should be myself as well. I do pray that you and I will receive Jesus and we're going to live according to the will of God, according to the will of Jesus, so that you and I, we can be saved. Amen. See you next time.